known to reach decibel levels comparable to that of a jet engine. Century Link Field is the location for this matchup between the Saints and the Seahawks. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims. And Phil, we've prepared for this game by talking to the players and the coaches. What do you expect? Jim, you know, just talking to the coaches, talking to both of them, how fired up they were. So if the coaches are that fired up, can you imagine how the players are going to be? Their emotions are going to be at sky-high level. That means we are going to have a hard-hitting game. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. And now, with more on today's game, let's go down to Danielle Bellini. I spoke with both the Seahawks and the Saints, Jim, and today's matchup features a stingy defense versus a prolific offense. Both teams are confident in their styles, but today only one team will come out on top. So will the defense hang on, or will the offense put up points to win? Guys, that's the question. Back to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. Ready here for the kickoff. Darren Sproles with a chance to return this kickoff. And the tackle is made right around the 32-yard line. Here's the man who in 2011 set the NFL's single-season pass yardage record. Quarterback Drew Brees. Moore's lined up in the slot. First and ten, and the give to Pierre Thomas. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in punches. From the gun, Drew Brees ready for the snap. Second and four. That pass was hurried. Richard Sherman last year even had some talk up for defensive player of the year. He was in the discussion. Jim, he's a really good corner, and if you ask him, he'll tell you he's a great corner. My man can get it done on the field, and he can talk some trash. See what they do on this third down situation. What a catch! And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. You're near midfield, it's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it, play field position, make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Wilson's the man in charge of the offense here today. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. It's handed to the running back, and he's brought to the ground. Keep an eye today on Zach Miller. Yeah, Zach Miller, not a not a speed tight end in the NFL, but smart, crafty, and has good size, so he'll he'll find a way to make some catches. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Hungry for victory? Snickers satisfies. Second and ten. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Nice tackle. Here's a look at the defense with its ball-hawking secondary. It 
it's a dime look for the defense on this play. Third and eight. They pick up the first down with that reception. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. That reception gave them the first down. The wide receiver in motion. Handoff to the back. Good job on the ground there by Lynch. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Russell Wilson has his man. It's Percy Harvin on the receiving end. When you talk about the play-action pass game, it's really when you call it. you got to be in a situation where the defense is thinking run, and when they are, do you have the courage, or I should say the smarts, to fake the run and throw the football. Good call that time by the offense. Russell Wilson has it under center. Looking to go up top again on first down. Makes the reception. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second in the yard. He'll throw it over the middle, right where it had to be. It's Malcolm Jenkins who makes the tackle. Well, here's the cover four defense. Four defensive backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing route. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Seahawks with a huge gainer right before the break and now coming back to the line to start the second. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. They knock him down, and he's still two yards short of the first. That was a nice play call by the offensive coordinator running the football in the red zone, and he picked up some good yards. They come out in the dime package. Trying to work that left side. In on the stop.
Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. They've got a first down now after that catch. He gets the toss. As good as it gets. Touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run. What a great job by the old line. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. It's good. ready for the kickoff. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. The defense comes out in the nickel. First and 10. They hand it off to the running back, to the 25. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches the defense by surprise. And running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. Nickel formation for the defense here. Second and five here. Throws to the right. Breeze gets it over to Darren Scrolls. There wasn't much there that time, so good job by the quarterback just throwing the ball and, and, and getting the catch and just getting a couple yards. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Third and four. Waits for an opening to unfold. And that's going to be a three and out. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. Wants to give it a go here. Picks up nine. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Midway, second quarter. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Game of six. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Second down here. Two-minute warning.
Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Dropping back three. They've got him down there. I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. Slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Wilson from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Hauls it in for the first down. What we saw there was probably the number one route all teams work on when they go to training camp, the curl route. Find the open space in the defense. Quarterback throws it in there. Good job. Miller's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. This will be second down. Tight end in motion. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Complete. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. in the slot third and short looking to the right side and throwing gain of 17 the Seahawks use another timeout here and they have one left offense ready for action coming out of their timeout First down here after the completion. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Touchdown! Well, it's first to go. I think a lot of defense is a thinking run here. And so the offense, they call a nice play. Very deceptive. They throw the football and they get the easy touchdown pass. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. And the extra point is good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23.
First down here. They send the tight end in motion. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Reaches out and snatches it. The Saints are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. We're back, and the offense is ready to roll after the timeout. down after that pass play. Breeze in shotgun formation. Looks to his left. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. From the gun. Throwing now to his left. Jimmy Graham with the grab. He steps out. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. That reception gave them the first down. This is a screenplay all the way. They tackle him for a loss. The Saints decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Offense ready to play after calling a timeout. Moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Throws to the right, under pressure and incomplete. Well, the best thing you can say on the offensive side that time is the quarterback got rid of the football. Terrible protection, nowhere to throw it, just throw it away. Moore's a receiver in the slot. Third down and 11. That ball has been picked off. What a terrible job by the bridge. Nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into an interception? Harvin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Wilson's got it in the gun. Working that left side. Secures it with two hands. The Seahawks with no timeouts left. Following that timeout, offense back out on the field.
Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second and one, Lynch. And here he goes. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. Ready for intermission. First, one more play. First and ten. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. That does it for the first half. Saints trailing this one. Let's check in on the sidelines. Danielle Bellini is there. Guys, I got a chance to quickly speak with Curtis Lofton during halftime. His team is trailing up to this point, but he thinks his defense can turn this thing around, guys. He said we just need to create opportunities for our offense, whether that's turnovers or good field position. If we do that, we can come back. That's all for now, guys. Back to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. Saints ready here for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Offense lines up here. The second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. The defense gets the sack. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. Takes lined up in the slot. And a little screen set up here. Brings it into his body. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. One yard loss on the play. That was just a dumb call. When you throw it behind the line of scrimmage like that, you deserve to lose some yards. That's what happened on that play. Third down now. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. Fakes out the defender right there on the spot. First down, offense ready for the snap. Pierre Thomas takes the handoff. They break through, tackle him behind the line. Good job by the defense. 
They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Receivers are bunched up. Second and 11. He'll fire it out to the left. That brings the play to an end. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than an incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and he pick up a yard or two. is split out wide on the right. Midway into the third, challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, the quarterback's buried on the play, and he throws it in completion. And QB had no chance, Jim, that time. No chance. The offensive line just has to keep the defenders off the quarterback a little longer. going to try and return this one. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. First and 10. Lynch is handed the football. And for about six. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. It's a second and four. Breaks free, has some space to work with. Gains 18. up in the pistol formation now first and ten the give to the running back tackle down at the 42 yard line nice job that time by the defense they were ready for the run nowhere for the running back to go and they stopped him for a short game Coming up, second down. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. Makes the grab, there's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Baldwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten, 
Going off tackle here. Running to the right. Then picks up about three. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break. The Seahawks will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. Russell Wilson has it under center. Final quarter underway now with this snap. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Steps out of bounds. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. So, first and goal to go. Catch is made. And that's a gain of 10. And you can see how they fared in the red zone to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Second down coming up. The throw to the left. It's intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. And a touchback. The Saints are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. First and ten. Loads it up. It's going deep. But it's incomplete. Quarterback has a strong arm, but I am starting to question his touch. Need a little more touch on those deep passes. That time he overthrows the receiver. formation here for the defense out of the shotgun he's looking to the right here on this throw able to make the tackle of about two yards shy of the first there has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long he has not been sacked much and he throws it there and gets another completion This is third down. Breeze is going to take it from the shotgun. Eyeing that left side. The Saints get a first down. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense.
Thomas lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Setting up a little screen. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Rams shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Looking to the right side and throwing. Caught. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. From the gun, Drew Brees ready for the snap. Third and two. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And the throw is incomplete. Thomas got it on the handoff. They deck him in the backfield. Yeah, the crowd is always yelling. Their team is losing. Go for it. It's fourth down. Well, they went for it. Now, what do you say? They didn't get it. Bad call by the offense. They shouldn't have done it. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The Seahawks in the pistol. First down and ten. Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Baldwin's in the slot. Two-minute warning. Just two minutes left of this one. We're back now for the end of the fourth quarter. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second down and seven. Going across the middle. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. The defense needed to slow this game down. That timeout might be very useful. Now they're ready to go. It'll be third down. Out of the gun. Needs to get rid of it. Getting sacked. Timeout called by the defensive unit. 
Nossa, que tiro! The defense needed to slow this game down, so that may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. No doubt about it. Look at three on the floor. You got to take advantage of good field position. The offense doesn't do it that time. I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick, but still a letdown for the offense. ready for the kickoff. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. Graham's in the slot here for this play. Breeze in shotgun formation. And he's taken down. What a play. Snickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Looking long to Colston. And intercepted. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Hard sometimes as an offensive coordinator to call plays to catch the defense off guard when you're winning and it's late in the game. Uh, so they played it very predictable there. The defense was ready, nowhere to go. The Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol. Running back gets it on the handoff. The Carroll takes him down. do it the clock hits zero and this game has come to an end it's nice when you get down near the goal line Jim and you can run it in for a touchdown that's why we're going to call this the play of the game it showed a lot of toughness. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.